Previously on Sailing Doodles, we got some last minute beach time before setting off on an eight day, 1250 mile sail to Papua New Guinea. This long sail started off from Champagne Beach in the country of Vanuatu. And then it was a downwind sail all the way up to Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea. Well, it's kind of a crappy night. Um, it's really rolly. 12 knots of wind now. Earlier and earlier yesterday we had 20 knots and so we were able to make good speed, but the wind dropped off to seven, eight knots, which in this sea is not enough to keep your sails full. It's just, you know, luff, 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 luff. And uh, so we had to motor too, we motor sailed, but the problem is is that uh, in seas like this, without enough wind to keep your sails full, it is really rolly. I don't know if you, I mean, it's just, and that's not even bad. It's, it's like, it can be, it's been a lot worse. Um, I feel bad for Lisa, because I know she's seasick, not doing well. I didn't sleep at all last night, because I was up here every five minutes messing with the sails or doing something, so. Sleeping well? Peace out, Bobby. Don't want to talk right now? This is my beauty sleep time, you know that. <laughs> she doesn't need any beauty sleep. She's beautiful enough as she is. We haven't had the full enclosure up since we left California, I'm pretty sure, but uh, we're expecting some rain tonight, so we put the back part of the enclosure on. Uh, expecting 20, 20 knots of wind, possibly gusts up to 30, um, and uh, rain showers off and on for the next day and a half, two days. So, you know, we haven't actually properly introduced Daniela. <laughs> Where are you from? How did we meet you? And what's going on with you? I'm from Mexico City. I met you guys in Cabo. And I'm a scuba diver instructor. Right now, I'm here, waiting for the storm. Ah! She'll be with us for the next, well, maybe. She's been with us for three or four weeks now. And she might be with us all the way to Thailand, or she might be uh, working on getting a, an instructing job in Bali. So. Yes, hope so. We'll see. <laughs> maybe we'll drop her off in Bali. I don't know. So, we'll see. But Thanks for coming along. Yeah, so far, really good. Thank you. The uh, camera never does justice to how big the waves are. So I'm gonna, cause you can't, there's no scale. I think that's part of the problem. You never get any scale. So I'm gonna try to give you some scale. I'm 5'11", so almost six feet tall. I'm gonna stand off the back here and then you can see how big the waves are above me as they come in. I'm standing about a foot off the water line. So you can see how big the waves get above me as they come through. But we gotta wait for a big set to come in right now. They're kind of small. I don't learn, yeah. I'm falling. If anything, it'll tell you how much we're rolling here, I think. Man, all the big ones are going off yeah. just to the side of us. I guess a big one, but... That was easily 10 feet tall. Whee. There you go, this one might be <laughs> There you go. Now, that's easily three or four feet over my head. So that's a 10 footer, no problem. And we've seen them a lot bigger. It's kind of scary at night when you hear one breaking right back here and you can't see it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you know. Oh well. Of course when you want a big wave they're hard to find. <laughs> when you don't want them that's the problem.
Well, everybody's okay? Yeah, yeah, everyone's still on the boat. We just took a pretty big wave. Oh, it, it knocked us. I mean, we were almost knocked us down all the way over. We came right back up, but water's everywhere. Knocked all our crap over here, broke some dishes, locked all our spice rack off, broke some stuff. All the clean laundry. Uh, it's not wet in there, it's okay. I was down here editing and a bunch of water just rushed in. You can see it's all wet. So, you know, we're not healing over too bad or anything. There's no wave spray, so we had this open getting some air. Water just poured right in here. Thankfully, it didn't have any electrical, like my camera gear or anything like that. There would have been really bad. Now we're drying clothes that got wet. So, what did you guys see up here? It looked like I was falling out of the boat as a giant wave came in, which is why I'm soaked and why everything else is soaked. The whole boat went down. The wave came inside. Okay, it probably pushed me back inside. Danielle, what happened to you? <laughs> to me, Did nothing. I was laughing. <laughs> it was bad. Well, the boat went down, it came in. The boat was completely cockeyed. Yeah, like it I kind of braced like myself because the entire boat went whoop, and yeah. I was like, oh, sh and then it just went wham. Exactly like that. <laughs> we saw a couple really big ones the other day, but we went over them nice and smooth. I guess this one caught us at the wrong way. Wrong angle. On the morning of the eighth day with Papua New Guinea in sight, it was time to raise the quarantine flag. We made it to Papua New Guinea, it was uh, eight days, something like uh, 1,252 nautical miles, almost 1,500 miles, but so we're still motoring in, we still about 10 miles to go through the bay. So we're gonna have a little breakfast and champagne. And how do you Yay. like you guys, we made it. I'm alive, uh -huh. All right, so. Thank you so much for watching. Please click the like button and leave a comment down below. We really do read almost every comment and reply to as many as we can. Thank you so much.